right home to some friends. When 72-year-old legendary entertainer and philosopher of the blues, Barney McGee, was asked to reflect upon his approach to music, he was quoted as saying, I know what I am inside. I'm an honest-to-God, true storyteller, and I use my guitar to help me along my way. I don't mind walking there. I lived through the strolling 20s. I coped with the dirty 30s. The naughty 40s, I looked right and I looked left. Nifty fifties, I took a chance on life. I got married, started a family. Dicty sixties, I began to realize the world was in a bad condition. Heavenly seventies, I made it. I'm here. You hateful ladies, I don't know what's going to, but I'm a part of. It. I have songs from the naughty forties and to me. <laughs> People identify me as. Uh, a musician, and I tell them, I know what I am. But I am to people what they think I am. I am an entertainer. I was born to entertainer because I use my guitar and my piano and my horn to tell, to substantiate my stories, to keep them from getting bored. I only play what I feel, and I feel what I play. If you ask me to play for you, I'm involved. It's Brown and McGee, not you. And that's why I don't back people up with my guitar because I only play brown. And when I'm singing, I'm singing brown. And so a musician plays what you hand him because it's red. And my music is to be played, not red. My form is the most important thing in the world. But the content that went into my songs is my environment, my happenings, my surroundings, my persecutions, my joys, and my sorrows. Teardrops cause these wrinkles you see in my face if you can see them, where they still roll down. Teardrops cause those. But now, I cry inwardly, so I've outlived the wrinkles. And the content that goes in my songs, I know it. Nobody else don't know it. I lived it. I don't imagine it. Why I tell you that I was hungry when I wasn't hungry? Be lying. Why I tell you that I was broke when I wasn't broke? Because I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Why I tell you that I had my mother and father, they separated when I was five. I'm from a broken home. Tell it like it is now. My mother and father didn't get along. They were stupid. I wish I only knew what separated them. But I didn't let it rub off on me to see if my mother and father would have lived. I wouldn't have been in this condition. I'm in better condition now. I didn't know, but I do know now. Something was wrong with them. It wasn't me. So I was born with the blues. When I got married, I lived with them. <laughs> I got a beautiful family. I lost my wife 10 years ago. I tried that too. I lived with her 30 years. And I wrote about those things. And that will be the title of my book, Born and Living with the Blues. The blues bought everything I got. I got me a nice home, I got me some cars they all pay for. I ain't rich, <laughs> but I'm happy. Two legs, two arms, two eyes. People stare at me as I go by. The reason is, I don't know. Well, it happens everywhere I go, and I wonder why, Lord. Tell me why. Blues is truth. It's a living thing. It's my life, my love, my joy, my all. That's all it was. Put that on my tombstone. That's the biggest question. Why? I don't know. I'm not a politician. Not religious. Just a question. Well, I don't know now, but I'll find out someday, someday by and by. People that talk about this and that, I'm gonna tell you this from under my head. Lord, the way it is, I don't know. I have a problem with what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. 
If I can't wrap my foot, I quit. <laughs> and I was told when I was young that string instruments were the devil's works. <laughs> Religious fanatics, I come out of that part of the world. By and by, by and by, by and by, yeah. My father used to talk to me when I was young, and I couldn't understand him as I was saying. And uh, when I got big enough to talk to him and ask him why, he always say things. I, I, what do I know about the graveyard holding secrets that I'd never know? I, I couldn't understand that. And I wrote it down because blues is truth. And I call it, and I started off like this, and I'm talking to him, and I get involved. My father, my father said these words Followed me for so many years Yes, he said, believe half you see, son And not a damn thing that you hear I said, why, Daddy? He said, there's a many broken hearts, son That never sheds no tears I asked him to tell me some more He said, it takes rocks, it takes rocks and gravel Son, to make, to make a solid road. Yes, yes. He says everything that shines, son. Don't you know we can't be told why? Can't we go? He said the graveyard holds secrets, son. Boy, that will never be told. I didn't understand it. Ask for some more information. He says the long, son, the long of the road. Short, well, the short of the turn. Yes, yes. He said, now I want to tell you something. Why, you young boy? You'll never grow too old to learn. Why? This is what he said to me. He says, old coals will kindle love and hate, son. And they will light up and slowly begin to burn. Tell me the truth. What are you talking about, daddy? He says, if you want, son, if you want to be loved. Here's what you got, you got to do. Yes, yes. He said you got to love somebody. If you want somebody to love you, that's the truth. I know it. But he worked and says, don't never let your right hand, son, know what your left hand do. Oh, my Lord, blues is true. My father's word, and I live by that. Believe it. You know the blues is a mother. Don't forget it, brother. Been having sex with the world a long time. Blues has been a popping lady day. Brian McGee's not ashamed. 